gosh, that's a big one. Oh man, that thing's huge. Hi, I'm Will with White Bison Outdoors. Today, we moved our way along the uh, Laurel Branch area of Big Creek going up towards the Blue Ridge Parkway just south of Canton, North Carolina. And there's a nice little spot there with some rocks, some pools, big giant boulders. And uh, it's a very popular place for fly fishing um, and just spinner rods as well. And I'm using a 5.6 spinner, a Berkley Lightning Rod 5.6 light action with, uh, with a 3000 series uh, reel and some 10 pound filament, monofilament and uh, some rooster tails mainly. I tried a few uh, jigs, some trout magnets, but I didn't have a lot of luck with those that day. Did manage to pull out a few trout that day as I'm learning some new techniques and trying out some new things. So this is what we're doing. Oh, nice. Hi, oh, buddy. There we go. Better. It's a nice one. Whoa! Nope, I'll get you in. See you guys in there just chilling out. They don't want it, man. He then went and told his buddies what I'm doing. What are you doing? They're too small. Look at this guy. Gotcha. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's a nice one. Not bad. Whew, boy, you are fat. You're a good one. So there we go. A good one. He got a scar on his back. Better look, reeling down the stream. That one did not want it. He saw it and said, nope, not today. Not today. He said, not today.
come on, dude. It was right there. You could have just bit it. I saw you looking at it. they see it. Are you kidding me? What do we got now? Another little fish? Yep. Come on, buddy. I got you. You got me another one. I know. You got a hook in your mouth. I hope you get it out. I don't know how it got there. Come on. Some of the guys sat here and fly fish. Oh gosh, I almost died. These guys are fly fishing here for like six hours and didn't catch anything. <clears throat> Old spinner bait. Okay. Settle down. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. What a beautiful fish. All right. Now don't mess around. I want to get this out your mouth. Ooh, that's up in your nose. Come on. Okay. Don't bite me. Ooh. That's not how I wanted to release you, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. That way. There you go. <clears throat> Good job. All right. Well, I think that's four. Four trout today. Hit it, hit it. Oh gosh, that's a big one. Oh man, that thing's huge. Look at that rainbow. Come on, buddy. You know you wanna eat. Ah, oh, come back. Dang, he got away. Whew, that's a big one. Oh man. Come on. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. Man, it's a nice rainbow trout. Gosh. It's right in front of you, buddy. It's right in front of you. Get it. Get it. Oh, you piece of trash. Oh, he ain't sure. Oh, dang, he hit it three times. Whew. That was exciting. But also, a whole really big letdown. Discouraging, not discouraging. Unfortunate. No, unfortunate. I don't know what the word is. Disappointing. Anticlimactic. Dang, he was so close to eating that lure. That smells right in my dang eyes. this weight of lure. I got a bear sneaking up on me or something over here. Come on. Not even showing interest now. No, that one just ran right by. I hit him in the head. He was like, no. I know what that is. That's fake. It's fake news, boys. Fake news. Seems like I can only catch one fish out of each hole before they stop biting. Maybe that's how this all works. Somebody in the comments can tell me that. Do they generally stop biting after you catch one out that hole? Because that's what it seems like. Last cast. Come on. Somebody bait me. Somebody bite me. Gosh, not even a bait. I need interest in it. Let me do one more cast. <laughs> they don't even, they just sit there do nothing. They laugh at me.
That's it, guys. I hope you really like that. Like, subscribe, share, click the bell uh, for notifications and all that stuff. But more than importantly, if you take up my advice and go out here and find this spot, keep it clean, keep it open. One of the biggest things that we at White Bison Outdoors want to um, convey is the need and uh, to be responsible with our outdoor spaces to keep them clean to not leave our trash not leave our line not leave our lures if we can help it i know sometimes it's stuck up in a tree somewhere or whatever and you can't even find them but we want to leave these outdoor spaces as clean as possible uh take a trash bag with you pick up trash that other people have left make sure we are not leaving broken bottles and trash and all those kind of things we want to keep these spaces open and clean for our kids and for their kids and for all those future generations and we believe at white bison that that is our absolute paramount responsibility when we are sharing and enjoying the outdoors so keep it clean keep it open until next time i'm will with white bison outdoors <laughs>